CataractCoach.com. Complete cataract case. What are these wrinkles? How should you proceed? Let me show you the whole case from the start to the finish. So, of course, good draping, lashes out of the way, lid margin sequester. There's our paracentesis. We're going to put some anesthetic in the eye. The patient has about one milligram of midazolam intravenously, and now topical tetracaine with, on the cornea, and that was preservative-free lidocaine going in the anterior chamber, and that was cut with balanced salt solution. Here comes the dispersive viscoelastic, injecting this to fill up the anterior chamber. Watch carefully. Anterior capsule looks pretty normal. Looks, looks like a normal case. Let's put the fixation ring down. Let's make an incision here. And here's we start the incision. And tunnel length looks pretty good. Just about pew. That's beautiful. I like it. Now, Rex's time. Watch carefully. Here's where we saw those wrinkles on the opening slide. Going inside here, measuring where we want it. Good. Poking in. And nothing yet. Poking in. Those wrinkles are not too bad, actually. So I don't think there's really much zonular support uh, issues here. I think the zonules are fine, and you can see as we tear the rexes, there's no more wrinkles. I think those wrinkles, that was just when we're poking in with the forcep tips. Now, these tips in the forcep are not needle sharp, so it does take a little bit of effort to poke in. And that rexus is complete and looks pretty good, just about 5 millimeters in diameter. Now, let's do some hydrodissections. It's a pretty efficient case. Looks like we're clocking in at, at under 6 minutes. Again, not about speed, about efficiency. So let's see some hydro dissection. Let's get those bubbles out because those are annoying. We don't want bubbles in the anterior chamber. It doesn't make for a pretty video. You know the video is so important. So slow and steady on the hydro dissection. There's a good wave, another good wave. I like that. New nucleus edge comes up. Hey, if it comes up, I'll take it. And you can see the side of that nucleus, the equator. This lens has a reasonable amount of nuclear density. Remember, the red reflex in my videos is extra strong to make for your enjoyable viewing, but uh, it's not normally like that in a microscope view. So putting the phaco probe inside the eye here, here comes the chopper. I'm going to get the probe on one side, put the chopper all the way around to the other side, and boom, split it in half, two halves. First half's going to come up, and it can be sub-chopped even more. It looks like a pretty straightforward case here. So yeah, I don't anticipate any zonular issues there. Everything looks pretty reasonable. Just in case, though, we did bring the nucleus partially up out of the capsule bag. It's just tilted up. We are not phacoing right under the endothelium. Keep this in mind. We are aiming for that iris plane. And so half the nucleus is already gone. Here comes the second half. And it doesn't need any more sub-chopping. So I'll just use the chopper to keep the nucleus pushed in front of the probe. A common beginner mistake is... Too much of the nucleus is under the probe instead of in front of the probe. You want it in front of the probe. Last few pieces going down, chopper in that safety or protective position. You don't want that posterior capsule to come in contact with the phaco tip at all. And that looks pretty darn good. Time for the cortex removal. Staff's going to sw switch this over for me to the IA tip, the IA probe. We do a coaxial cortex removal here. There it is. And again, if you're worried about the zonular support or zonular issues, which I'm really not at this point, you just pay extra close attention to the capsule rexus. Remember, doing this step as you pull on the cortex, of course you don't want to see the capsule rexus edge moving at all. And in this case, we're pretty good about that. That's, there's really no motion. So cleaning up the cortex pretty efficiently. Looks great. Couple little fragments left. Maybe a little capsule polishing going on. And there's something there that caught my eye. We'll try to get that out. And it looks pretty clean. So text loading up our lens for us. It's going to be a single piece acrylic lens. This patient has a mild degree of preoperative hyperopia. I think like plus two. And we're putting in about a 23 and a half diopter lens, aiming for a post-op refractive outcome of close to Plano. So there we go. Good fill of the capsule bag with the cohesive viscoelastic. And you can see there's still a lot of patient movement. That's okay. Patient's comfortable, pain-free, not aware of too much. And we're happy as well. Here comes the lens, gonna deliver that in the capsule bag. Nice and easy, beautiful. Dial this in the bag, let's get it rotated. Let's see our rexus size. How do we do on our capsule rexus? Eh, looks pretty good, I'll take it. So get that last haptic unfolded, a little sticky there, that's okay. We'll just use that chopper to help. There it goes, now it's released. Get this rotated a little bit more, make it a little easier to get the eye probe under the optic. And here comes the eye probe. For the 
viscoelastic removal settings, we had a lot higher flow. So 50, 60 cc's a minute, it's also high vacuum. Get that fluid flowing through the eye, wash out all that viscoelastic from behind the optic. Remember, you want that optic posterior surface to directly touch the posterior capsule. And with this lens material in particular, slightly sticky, slightly tacky. So where you put it, it tends to stay, which is great. So taking out all our viscoelastic, making sure we got nothing left there in the angle. And that looks pretty good. And let's seal up the incision here. Is there any viscoelastic left? We'll find out. We'll do a little angle sweep. So back and forth, sealing up that incision. Looking pretty good. Let's go in through the side port, do a little... Uh, Inflation as well as angle sweep. They're centering the lens. Now they're sweeping the angle. And just a tiny bit of viscoelastic that's being washed out the eye. I just depress the paresthesis a little bit as I do that to give a port for egress of the fluid and that we're injecting inside the eye. Wexel and Tetracaine to give you that osmotic gradient. Seal up the incision. Bam, we are done. Nice case.